And Losey, here's Rosie! Losey! And me, the Nom. Yeah. I am Nom. I'm, um, I'm sick, so <laughs> I can't, I can't go full voice right now. Um, but I'm well enough to stream, especially since Noth is doing all the hard work. Yeah! So, I didn't want to, like, disappoint people by putting off the whole finale thing. Yeah. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, double check the video things, because mm -hmm. I always forget. And I was testing uh, the Dreamcast the other day, so I don't know if I, like, messed anything up. Yeah. Uh, so, we have uh, the finale to do, um, uh, and some side quests, and maybe some s rank hunts. I'm gonna get the two side quests uh, that are good out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have as long as we need to. Right? Yeah? Now that I think about it, because we're not going to family dinner because yeah. of the aforementioned sick. Yeah, there's there's gonna be babies there. Don't want to get babies sick, so. Yeah. Don't worry, Arlena. Rosie's like she's medicined up. Yeah, if, if it gets bad, I I will stop. Totally like good. I won't be able to function if it's that bad. But more than usual. It's just let's do Gab. Yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for it. Right now, just I'm my sure head is stuffy bit. and my throat is a bit sore, so I'm you know keeping Funny extra hydrated. Yeah. You want me to grab the cough drops, dude? The little tykes know they were um, welcome in the new home. Sure, I suppose. Like. All right. So, what's the problem? The problem is that Ed is like too busy <laughs> now. On stream. I don't know if I'll be Enough for help, get out the gift. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, there you Thank you. We're mm. good if your throat starts hurting. Mm. Yeah. This might be. All right then. Oh. What exactly are we making? A sword. A good luck charm, but not just any good luck charm. A big sword. Not it's gonna be any. skull shaped. No. One. <laughs> and I'll, it'll have snakes coming out the mouth. Chocobore. <laughs> There's no luck in all the realm. All thing is, uh, they're hard to come by. Had all, all... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need, a feather. That or the bird whose horse it's attached to, I. I was gonna start by asking around with traveling traders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha. I think I might make that my. You're a good friend. All right, so, yeah, the the, the beginning of this isn't like, you know, it's basic, but uh, it's the cutscene that we get with Gav, you know, at the end of the quest that we really care about. It's a call. <sighs> Hope everybody else is having an okay weekend. Uh, Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gavin This needs. guy. Excuse you, me. Silver Chocobo, where? I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. I've got two eyes! <laughs> A Silver Chocobo feather. <laughs> oh, I don't see one of those. Maybe not. Though you're not the first to make... There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a Silver Chocobo. Near some guide hall, not far from Eastpool. Most... Took him for a bra- We'll see. It's for Maybe. why a bird would attack that man, we all fucking hate him. So the bird probably did Yeah, may maybe he was an asshole and the silver chocobo was actually just ambrosia, but it looks silver because the <laughs> sky is fucking purple. Yeah. Just because the heavens have gone to wreck Ambrosia, was that you? He had it coming, Clive! Hey, Willie. How do, traveler? Cap is what we really care about, yeah. I'm looking for a silver... No one as word is they were all hunted for Have there ever been silver chocobos before in FF? I don't know. Mo most of my chocobo colors come from seven and then the red bastard in 14. Hurt, yeah, I was gonna say like there's there's a uh, yellow, white, red, black, which is actually purple. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the red one just hates your guts. Yeah. I mean, maybe with uh, with all the freaking chocobo breeding in FF7, you can get a silver one, but, yeah. like... It sounds almost has anyone ever actually done that? Uh, the breeding? Yeah. Um, I mean, I used the guide to get the gold chocobo, because I like me some Knights of the Round. Oh, fair enough. I never, I never bother with that. I do, because in FF7, I like going out of my way to make the final boss as difficult as possible. Because yeah. uh, there's, like, certain checkers that uh, Safer Sephiroth does to determine its stats. And one of the ways you increase its stats is by defeating Bizarro Sephiroth with Knights of the Round. 
Wait, you want to make that harder? Yeah. But it's so annoying if you die. It's oh. the worst. Good thing I have rarely, if ever, died on a... Yeah, but why would you want to run the risk? Because I like FF7. What the heck? Ah, ah, which... How, how turn? Ambrosia. Ambrosia, please. Like... Ambrosia! If you lose, that's hours off your life. Because you got to get back in there, and then Sephiroth's going to keep throwing the fucking meteor at you for 20 <laughs> minutes at a time. More tracks. Ambrosia's been here. He destroys Mercury here. every time. <laughs> <laughs> Takes time to reform those planets. Uh, I, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. You get on this last one with the gold saucer, right? Or yes. Something. Yeah, I didn't bother doing that either. Because it was annoying. Well, I'll be damned. And yes, I know there's like a trick with the slot machine or whatever, but I, I couldn't I couldn't pull it off. So. I I abuse I the ever loving shit out of the uh the slot machine trick. But you're not a real FF seven fan unless you max out air if slummit breaks. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember Vinny Vine Sauce once did a stream where it was like FF7 Corruptions and he got like Aerith's Max Limit Break and right. even he, huge FF7 super fan, was like, I've never seen this before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I might have seen it yeah, once in a YouTube hearts. video. Alright, we got Gav's Feather. It's a feather from Gav. I think for a long time I didn't even know how you were supposed to like get the the uh, later limit breaks. Yeah. Cause like I was just a kid, just like messing around, and I just assumed like, oh, I I bet they'll just show up if I grind enough. But yeah. that was not the case. Nope. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? Well, he says, looks like you've been able to make off-white-collar chocobos before, but I can only find actual this silver chocobos in 13, too. Is this what I think yeah, that, is? I mean, that's the best chocobo representation. It's got crazy it? chocobo. Yeah. It's Which, on any story. other day, I would begin reciting, but not today. <laughs> I, I love that track in theater rhythm, though, because in the quest mode, like... Everything up there has been abandoned for years. Uh, the, the, the buttons go at double speed. <laughs> It's really Clive. funny. The blight, they'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. I mean, it was on the now ground, so I don't think they're gonna take to it with fix them. It to the I didn't know maybe, you could well, maybe the feathers can run off individually to get these sprout little legs. <laughs> that's why silver chocolate. I'm as good with a whittling knife the feathers as I am with a sword. Yeah. And that bone ember gave me a dream to work with. Who are you? What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. Oh, let's go. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak the too pit soon. from Mortal Kombat? Uh, I think this guy was from a uh, side quest I did off stream, actually. Uh. What do you think? Seriously, what pit is he talking about? Could probably have a train in the pit. Oh, will I? I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. If you go in there and fight, are you a pit fighter? Sure. You're fighting in the pit. No, really, who are you? I think after this, we will do Vivian's quest. I'm just, just gonna make like extra super sure I don't have the volume turned up again. So that we don't die if someone subscribes. I think this should be fine. And I think people should subscribe. Yeah, but without us dying. Ah, me lords. You look different from the other CBU3, Etta. Well, For one thing, you're alive. You. I'm not crazy. I don't know who you're talking about. Is She's a, uh, Palace of the Dead character. Uh, that would explain no, it. I've never been like in that. there. Uh, I've only been 24s in. Uh, 
I really should finish it sometime. Akari Rima was a pit fighter. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> she flies over everything. Why would she be in a pit? It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like, it's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a band's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family too. What did you just call yeah, my child? I, I hope you like it. I... I don't know what to say. But if you would sell my child again, I'll take the other one. For everything. I'm confused. If there's anything you need, just let us know. About what? Everything. <laughs> oh, Clive. Fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. Come on, Gav, let's get you drunk. <laughs> you know, last time I streamed All Sick was Sonic Adventure 2. Um. Here's the scene we've been this for. Noth is hiding his hands in his sleeves. Had enough. Yep. Yo, we're celebrating. Big I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. Purple times, actually. Not so much dark. It wasn't long after me. Yeah, it's actually pretty bright. Yeah. My mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the run of the litter. I thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. So that's when I started the surveillance the network. She went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Gav, have you, you finished? Can't. That's just root beer. <laughs> Maybe. Do you know why? You're our best scout. Mm. Because Torgal gets distracted by Because sausages. you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Or Paul. Your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination. I don't know where we'd be. No one will be like Torgal. Maybe yeah. hanging off a cliff is like... The best. Uh... That was only the once. Exactly. You learn from it, and here you are after Founder knows how many missions, stronger for everyone. I wonder how many level ups you get, though. The eye doesn't come back. And let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That was Toggle. The second one, I mean. That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Don't tell Josh, he'll get jealous. <laughs> well, he oh, says, I wish yeah. I was a giant animal that absorbs and duplicates the superpowers of people around me. Which means... Aren't you? That when the time comes... Super sheep. I get your room. And your sword. 
<laughs> and your wife. Don't push it, Gav. And your dog. Gav, you and I both know Torgal chooses whose dog he is. <laughs> it's Torgal's world. We're just living in it. And that's why he's Jill's dog. <laughs> I may have had one too many. Yeah, I don't think I should let you stand here this late. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> uh, I said I was thirsty. Got to get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Starts walking forward. Gav, no! Uh, Clive. What is it? Didn't know this was an odd world game. Thanks. <laughs> or lemmings. For, you know... Who is the lemming of FF16? I don't know. Or it's someone who just blindly walk off a ledge? <laughs> uh, I was thinking more like, you know, too stupid to live. Uh, the entire nobility. <laughs> <laughs> lemmings nobility edition. It's just a bunch of lemmings with monocles. All right, let's do Vivian's quest. Hope they hope they uh, adapt the latrine disaster. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a good little scene with Gav. I like that one. Vivian, I read your note, and then I yeah, remembered I couldn't read. What you're looking for. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Please, it's only right that I return the favor. You are too kind, alas. What I ask of I spoke with Hippocrates to see if he had. <sighs> if you say so. At this book. All right. So, uh, what she wants is a book about the history of Bearers and Brandit and how they got to be, like, slaves. And for whatever reason, that book is really hard to find. So, mm. so naturally, we're going to find it. So those other people looking for it should have tried being a main character. That would have helped. Oh, Give me the book. Clive, Hippocrates. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. And you seek a rare gem indeed. Here it is. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. <sighs> You're bright as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. And yet I gather it did naught to dissuade her. Clive. If the young... I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? They sound the cheerful. of secrets. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. Texans! Such text being the term Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does the true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it. I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Go kill them and find out. All that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. <laughs> you may just as soon ask I'm gonna say it's ideology just numbers. because, you know, or the identities people who want to uh, destroy books <laughs> don't, don't like books. Yeah. My hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expect? Not from thin air, no. Rumors of the executive, but rather let I, well, I, alas, but if you were very well, I'll be sure to. All right, so uh, let's go rob a dead guy. As you do. Yeah, well, you don't tend to be a living guy in uh, Ash. I knew we couldn't trust Ash Ketchum. That bastard. 
I mean, clearly he was in on the take from all those champions. Otherwise, why did it take him so freaking long to, uh, you know, win a championship? The longer we leave that guy at large, the more blood is on all our hands. Fly, Ambrosia. You know what? Let's do an S rank hunt. There's, uh, there's one right here. Rawr. Beep, beep, beep. Live, I thought we were looking for a book. We are. This is gone, dogs. You just fucking. There's just animals that do meteor. Yep. Like Sephiroth shouldn't have really needed to try that hard. <laughs> what? Lamp. Yeah. He says I was gonna make a politics joke in that last scene, but everything I'm familiar with results from slavery anyway. <laughs> well, like in life. Whoa! Look, look at that. The the Shiva capes are like too far off of him. The Matrix is falling apart. Camera angle. <laughs> Four thousand damage. How about that? That's a lot of damage. I feel like I've said that a <laughs> bunch during this playthrough. I actually don't think so. Uh, I've said it at least once, probably. Ha! <laughs> Missed you, bitch. Ow! Oh god! <laughs> Missed me! We'll throw the balls at you, Clive Rossfield! This is not the kind of fetch I'm used to. Nope. Did you forget to go into the tutorial voice, or did you mean that Clive is a dog? Uh, well, Clive plays fetch with Torgo. Ah. Thank you, Torgo. Ah Wooly is like going off in chat, and I I don't understand what he's talking about. I think. I think to understand what Wooly's talking about, we need to have him on voice. Yeah. So that we can immediately be like, Wooly, what the fuck are you talking about? We should get Sheep on voice at some point. Yeah. Says that's why I always call my mom when I have a question she can't understand my texts. <laughs> that's, that's that's very a, cheap. That's incredible. <laughs> Ow. My mom never understood when I said woolly because I introduced him as sheepy, so then I. 
Every time I said woolly, I had to be like, I mean sheepy. Otherwise, she wouldn't know who I meant. <laughs> oh my god, lay off! Can't, can't meteor me if I'm in the air in your face. Oh, Jesus! Can you do an attack I can, like, you know, carry like this? What's that? Thank you. Watch out, meteors come from the sky. I would hope so. <laughs> It'd be weird if they came from the ground. Mega Man, Mega Man! Meteors are coming from the ground! What the fuck? Mega Man, look out for trees! They're sprouting up everywhere! Yeah, anime finish! Eve says I step away for like five minutes and we've gone from find the slavery book to kill the behemoth king. <laughs> I, can no. only, I can only presume the behemoth <laughs> king stole the book because he's that much of a bastard. No, he, he was just on the way. Yeah, these are unfortunately unrelated events, but it would have been amazing if this fucking behemoth was just like, Mine! I'm not reading! Also, I love Clive's wind quote, No match for you, eh, Torgal? And then Torgal barks in agreement. And, he, and the irony was that, like, by reading that book, he would finally become woke. <laughs> and now we took that from him. The entire village looks abandoned. Now. Mega Man, Mega Man, watch, watch out for stairs! <laughs> I checked the book out from the library and I refuse to pay the late fees, meteors. Mega Man has to deal with, like, fucking nightmare effects from FF. Uh, FF. From Mega Man X6. Oh no. And so Rolls like, Mega Man! I don't know what the fuck any of this is! I mean, we've got Aelia in that case to, to explain what the fuck. This is a Royal Army logbook. <laughs> His interests were certainly varied. So there's just a fucking legion of like anti-woke ninjas and we never deal with Pretty that much, yeah. chapter 16 <laughs> fucking hilarious yeah so uh let's see yeah basically uh after the bearers uh, you know there's a power conflict between bears and non-bearers the bears resistance was crushed they got made into slaves uh and i don't know if it's listed here but the entire currency of Gil was made so that they could have something to trade for bearers. But if what it says is true... They didn't have money before that? What the fuck? Way. No, like, I think, like, the new currency was a stat. Like, it's no, all well, just part well, of the system. <laughs> it's not in that past. It was wrong for the old one. I know. I know. Basically, just the whole system's fucked. And, you know, the system is entirely built on the exploitation of labor. Leaving so soon, stranger. We've been watching you from a distance, so to speak. How are you not a cop? Sick of Torgal. I know who you are. And we need not waste time on introductions. Give me book, please. Hand me the book. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. By the way, you wouldn't happen to be the guy who killed that behemoth king out there, would you? Because <laughs> we are. Fucked if you are. Oh, they have oh, a really big ninja. Oh no, four guys. That's the kid who caught John Carmack caught. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. You know, Bruh. you know, Rhea from Three Houses is also all about like suppressing uh, enlightenment. Yeah. So, does that make these people dragon ninjas? Uh, nah. Because Rhea had a lot of non ninjas working for her. I wonder how quickly we are just gonna ice this guy. Lore ninjas. <laughs> Yeah, they, they are, uh, not entirely on our level, indeed. You know, the whole thing about Vivian having it snatched from her, like, you kind of, like, you know, fast-forward through the conversation, so I don't know if you explain it better, but, like, I assume that it was just, like, pickpockets, like, ninja pickpockets. Not literal ninjas, but like, no, I, I mean, I mean, like, you know, they were just like, whoosh, and then they were gone, and she was like, "Where the fuck's my book?" But like, in this case, a guy just came up to Clive and was like, "Give me that book." Give me book. And then Clive was like, "No," and that's the only reason they did anything else. And then violence ensued. Yeah. Oh, that was easy. Dragoons are always kind of like ninjas that are dragon themed. I. Beg to differ. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Here we Fuck go. you, mid invented the printing press. Certain terms, the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. I, it's a whole so book, I just sharp, picked it up. But your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers. And of belief. You haven't picked a major enough yet, people have you? believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. Please do not kill small. me. We shall meet again. Until then. Wait. Damn it. Let's get this back to Vivian. Hiding behind that box. Just being like, please don't look over here. Please about. don't look over here. Please don't look over here. So, yeah, uh, we have a secret group of people who want to suppress books and history because the truth would make people uncomfortable. What's this game about, honey? I don't know. Eve says, this sounds like nerd talk. Torgal, let's stuff this guy in a locker. Torgal, invent a locker for me to put him into it. <laughs> yeah, we need Mid to invent the printing press so that we can make lots of copies of this book. Yeah. Vivian. I found it. So, so that, that was basically the bit I really wanted to get at. It was just like, we can't let you have that book because it'll make us uncomfortable. We have to deal with that. It'll make people uncomfortable. I'm sure if a Clive was, like, clever and said, like, that's bullshit, then they would have been like, but think of the children! <laughs> that would have been the next one on the list. This book harms children somehow. How am I supposed to explain this to my kids? If they see you woke. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All yours. Yay! Oh, have I never matched that out? Come on again. Any other place? I may oh. have more for you. Neat. All right. Koji Fox, you bastard! You just put that in my head. What? It said careful whisper.
All right. Let's do Byron's quest now. Clive, my boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. I, I am now beginning to realize maybe we did not need to start an hour early even if we hadn't been going to my parents, but you know, fuck it. I would have done the same you insisted on it. I know, I thought this would all take longer. You're, you're Poopenheimer. Yep. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? Yes. She From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? Don't lose True, your the way. The challenges that face us are many, but in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other the realm's armies. And her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes, but such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? Is this the, the one with the stupid boy. ending? As I told you already, no. We begin by okay. Restoring order among the ranks of those this is the one that gets um, Byron, Sadly, his buddy from the, the cuts he was bickering with, and uh, Quentin in a room to together. together. Uh, but I do spoiler. know someone the high commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. He's an asshole, he Clive, but he's my best he asshole. Was, until an Akashic <laughs> what? Army <laughs> killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. Of course you have. And he's you first, you want to try that one again, Narf? On one condition. <laughs> That he first speaks with you personally. No. Just gonna let it stand. Yes. Frustratingly Oigan, is that a mother loving grand blue reference? Qualms about clasping arms with well with an outlaw. I mean, can I be an outlaw of all of the places I would have broken the laws and ceased to be political entities? Goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. He don't mind, do you, my boy? Of course not. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. Just kill me of a uh, level five Zen Tetskin, just for Ready for Randalar at once. Would you and for anybody us? in the vicinity. Of course. Excellent. No, thank you, Clive. Three's company. And Tenza Shindig. Uh, yep, we're going there. Whee! Do you see that too? Hell, the sand, it's everywhere. No, in the sky! You mean the clouds? Damn it! Fun times for all. Yeah. Come on. Choco. Yeah, there goes Jill. Jill, 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 Jill. Josh. Uh. Oh. It's Chocobo sickly too. <laughs> yeah. Neither of them can breathe. They're just trying to keep up. Five. Wait. Oh. Where's my inhaler? 
He's oh, just gosh. joshing around somewhere. Good. Turncoats and cowards, the lot of you! <laughs> if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! Okay. Allow me. He just gets shot. Rutherford! Run past them and grab my axe. I don't need your... Please, uh, Field Marshal. Oblige him. This won't take long. Sick of Toral. <laughs> You're right. It won't. Meh, meh, meh. Finish him. How can they finish him? They hadn't even started him. <laughs> Josh was just like, Clive, do you think that was a bit excessive? No, I didn't even use Antetsuke. A little longer than I'd have liked. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I shouldn't have used Antetsuke. Pretty sure that's what I did the first time I played through this game and got to that quest. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Fucking traitors. I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths they swore. But I hadn't thought the corruption had reached so close to the heart of the Republic. Well, it's a it's Republic. A what do you want? <laughs> Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. My lord Marquis, or is Sid the outlaw more to your liking? Call me what you want. It doesn't change who I am. All the urgency of the message I bring. My uncle has a plan to... Don't worry, I retired the Jimmy joke. He needs your help to see it through. <laughs> he's accepted that he's Clive. Before I agree to anything, I'd have you answer one question. Is it a math what question? What do you stand to gain from all this? Well, I'd really like to uh, retire. And just, I won't you know, deny that I might benefit from further chaos. Build a house with Jill. Have a lot I of kids. a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones, build a big stable for Ambrosia. A damn no, straight climb. Make them for the right reasons. So I long. Want the presidential so suite. Must have been told how we could live, how we could die. I we want double doors. And a big couch to put things right. But in order to take it, it we must stand it. together. Even it's so we can be beside it. those with whom uh. we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. But perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. And your chocobo is giving me the creeps. He looks out for blood. <laughs> he is. Uh, don't make eye contact. All right. I'll start by ordering my most you trusted guard off, to Sunny bring D. the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore order in their own territory. Thank you, Field Marshal. But they are not the only ones we will need. What do you mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals. But those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. And when it comes to honeyed words, well, we will need an envoy. One who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. Hmm, perhaps. I'm flattered. But I'm not a diplomat either. Do it for I have other problems to yeah. attend to. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. Torgal. And I may know just the person. He's farmed of the letter is that, M. Sir? And would he happen to be an outlaw too? Of a different kind, perhaps. Oh. 
Beggars can't be choosers. I suppose we'll all have to find a little bit of the outlaw on ourselves if we're to make it through this. Of animals, right? Very well. Send right? Send man to me right away. I shall. Well, you know, animals. Corrupt judges. Mmm. -hmm. Fresh meat. My lord Marquis, your lord uncle bad and I will see that my baby. Make sure the good plates are out. <laughs> Not the bad plates. The good ones. An envoy. You bring up the bad plates, so help me God. Oh, man, Quentin. If you bring out the bad plates and disappoint Torgal, that'll be the end of you. Torgal's like, I like the plates with the flower pattern. Summon ambrosia on this thing. What the hell? Run like the wind. I guess Clive wouldn't say so help me God, because he wasn't really like religious to begin with, and yeah. then you know now he wants to kill God, so yeah. So help me Gav. <laughs> so help me Tor. <laughs> so help me die right to the stables, girl. What stables? Quintin. Mm. <laughs> for you mm. something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold mm. come on then propose propose do it properly on one knee <laughs> you even <laughs> even trying to do here a bit they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask. No, but, but I uh, could could potato chips, maybe. Roll. I'm out. And you'd have you see, what what we have an advantage now that people in the past did, and you, that it's a lot of nobles of are dead. Are my family. And I, I like some pretzels too, them. actually. <laughs> You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. Oreos, not Hydrox. So Sounds like and laundry, why might that be? laundry detergent. What he's asking? Has any get me Oreos. So you, far? you get they me Oreos. I want you to do it now. For themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You know that's not what I'm. Then what are you saying? That only I changed my mind and went chips ahoy. Why turn your back on everyone? Extra else? chunky chocolate. You convinced us. <laughs> we could be who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm. A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. Mm. So you'll join us. Where do you need me? Hey, you know what else is pretty flat? Stroop waffles. I want those. I've arranged for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. Whose fault is when that? When were they I ever safe? <laughs> My uncle will want to know that his. <laughs> They've never been safe <laughs> once <laughs> in this entire game. Found it's it. like an 18-year time span. It has not been safe. Uncle, I found it. Mm. Of course he has. Did he give you the Stroop waffles? <laughs> Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter's Older as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord. He might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. I do more work for him. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their place. Good Minimal thinking, Clive. Page. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. 
Assuming Havel and Quentin can solve our problem with the armies. You still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion. But luckily, I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. <laughs> well, the old oh, Lord, was actually so taking pleased. time. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private shop for the next new moon. And when the a shitload, shipload. A shitload of shipload. shipload. Good as tripped oh. over themselves in the rush to follow suit. A shipload of shitloads. <laughs> Manure as far as the eye can see. I'm just imagining the, the Toy Story meme where he's just like doing the wave thing. <laughs> I must mm. say, your boats stink. The I can it's smell them from here. Mm -hmm. You find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. <laughs> that is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. Mm. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen. Simply have them not starve. Alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Stinky indeed, ships, yes, but still. From here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Think of the fertilizer. And fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed. Ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I Fuck him! And the man. <laughs> Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the <laughs> What kind of company are you expecting him to keep the man's a criminal? <laughs> criminal? I agree, where are my stroke waffles? How dare you? You are not fit to breathe the same air as this fine, upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? Uncle, I'm in my thirties. He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw. <laughs> Once more. Actually, I call myself Jimmy. Well, I used to. I've had character development. I've accepted Jimmy back into myself and gained my persona. Shall we begin again? I thought uh, I, I thought he passed on the title of Jimmy. Uh, but I, I, I guess Jimmy's just like independently developed like Cybermen. <laughs> mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves, then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands. But the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, my quill. The good quill, Rutherford. Meh, 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 meh. The stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. 
Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities, that you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. Then there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I, I thought he sucked at it. I want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. If you need Sir Crandall the Randall. Two are sandals. <laughs> Two of them. Alright. What do you think that thing is? And how the hell is Sid gonna deal with that? I love this one guy. How the hell is Sid gonna deal with that? And they're all like, because they're just like, ah, oh, yeah, Sid's gonna handle it. <laughs> Giant rock in the sky? Sid's got it. Probably blow it up or something. Alright, we have one more side questo. Oh no, two more side questos. You lied to me. Yep. You said it was one and then you said it was two. Now you must die. Let's do the bad one first. Okay. Alright, so back in Lubor's town. Do we all remember Lubor? Bargain bin Claude from Three Houses? Uh, so we had a quest where some bandits were going to attack. Uh, we fought the bandits, but in the process, uh, he got outed as a bearer. Uh, they're trying to get him to leave, and now he's just like, "Oh shit, more bad guys coming." Here to help me pack. Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. Because you know, now that they know he's a filthy magic user, they're like, "Ah, he lied to us and tricked us, and blah blah blah, 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 blah." But before I, if it's within my power to help you, I. It's the children. Uh, Kill they're, them. They're, those are the kids that uh, he, he like out of himself to if save. Leave them here. They surely will. Our friendship. I can think of only one. Of course. Thank you, Clive. No more. What is it, Ferda? There's sand out no, there. No, Did no, you ever see it? Damn big one. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged. In what? The League of Outlaws. Every last one of the bastards has turned. That's a name for your organization when you're sure you're the good guy. A one thing. But a cash Gentlemen, another. let us commence the first Down meeting of the Legion of Doom. We Surely we are There's all no to lose. upstanding people. Herda, gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. Well, yes, my lord. Clive, change up the children. Stay with me, Helen. And oh. all right, so there's a big part of Akashic coming. Yay. Same as always, then. Yep. Oh, it must be Tuesday already. You have to listen to me. They're coming. Why do they always have to make such a fucking <gasps> Ah, it's you. What do you want, Lord Underhill? Josh was just like, oh, I an important you message. called yourself Underhill? Out in the Velcroy. The camp with the so called. They're no longer just bad. You need to begin preparing. Oh, do we? Lubor, perhaps. You may believe his lies, my lord. But why would he lie? Some twisted attempt. If he had not been unmasked, a great on one, he might well feel a grief. Lord Underhill. Really? You may not. If there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be. Now be off. You're making a mistake. We choose being racist over being alive. Fuck and you. We find another way to ensure Dalamel's survival. You're right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. I think we'd better shut up. What's Lubor raving about now? Well, that was a good end of a quest. Yep. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Nat. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The bloody fools. Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. You only have to. I appreciate Sid, but... Victor? I thought you'd left. So did I. I don't know how I got here. Sid! Sid! The sky is purple! Yes. Yes, Victor. We know. We have been aware of this. It's been purple for a while. How did you not notice? Oh, I've been working the night shift. You have 
have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat, they don't sleep, they don't tire, and they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There will be no parley, no mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! You'd like that, wouldn't you, bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. You should run! <gasps> run, bearer! Yeah, run! So why are we saving these people? Good question. Wait, someone's coming. The Wonder Twins. Stop! You're hurting him! Hey, this is even more fun! Get they're the with, big rocks! They're worth more points because they're smaller. <laughs> Harder to hit. What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems, and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Everyone in the crown unison, he brainwashed our children! Kill them! And none of you ever say thank you, ever! But did Lubor ever complain? Yes, lots! Well, does he ever stop smiling? I don't think he's smiling right now. We've heard enough. Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. We're idiots that way. So tell us. How do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. <laughs> Fine. around if you don't want to die I'm gonna shoot you all into space where you'll be safe it's time for you to all go to your home planet resistia <laughs> dumb fuck you <laughs> allow me to explain the situation all right so yeah fuck it uh, he's just gonna tell us where we're gonna go kill things. Alright, so that's the bad quest, because, okay, like, ready. good god, that is it's at such anything. odds with the entire rest of the game. Considering the entire rest of the game has basically had an attitude of eat shit and die racists. And that, like, understanding, you know, it, it takes a lot more than a couple of heartwarming orphans to come in and, like, be like, 
Hey, adults! Racism is the bad! And then this quest just kind of has that happen, like... There it is. I imagine... <laughs> like... Re do we remember the quest where, like, a wolf ate a dude and his son because they were assholes? Yeah. That's and then, pretty neat. Yeah, and then here is this quest just being like, Hey! Stop being racist! Okay. Oh, shit. I can't believe we were... We, 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 did, we did a bad... Oh, no. Willie says this quest sucks so hard it brings the game down an entire point for me. Because I'll never not be able to think about a shitty quest existing. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Yeah. I don't think the Towns Fog actually stopped their races and they just compromised. Okay, look. I don't think racists are willing to compromise with the people they're racist against. The Gothic Cunning Man. How are you? They still didn't listen to him. They literally asked him what to do. They just said they wouldn't run. Yeah. But before that, it was like, oh, well, you know, be because uh, he's because he's a magic man, we inherently, like, don't believe him. Even though there's literally no reason he would lie about something like that, and we literally have to make up a stupid-ass reason. Oh, God. He's, he's Sonic the Hedgehog. He's a magic man. No, that's a Wonder Man. Oh, right. Never mind, you can't trust him. Dende's a magic man, though. Come back, magic man! Thank you, magic man. And also, there's no way people like that would fucking listen to a bunch of chill weirdly, uh, like, eloquent children coming in to hold a speech. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't- it doesn't even feel like it's part of the same universe. No, it feels like it's a very special episode. <laughs> Do you get do you get anything for doing this quest? Uh the signboard. The signboard? Yeah, that fucking five room. Yeah, okay, well like you don't have to consider this part of the complete work because there's no reason to do it. Yeah. Like uh, other like uh, you know, some of the endgame side quests are like, okay, you actually get something yeah. for this that implies you should just do this anyway, but Character stuff. But th this is that. fucking pointless and dumb, and you, know, you can just ignore it. See how the others you can just write your own version of the game where this doesn't happen by not doing this quest. Yeah, like, if this if this quest was written by the guy who did the wolf quest, Luber would be like, Alright, hey, if you don't want to die and are willing to take the gamble, come with me. And then you watch as a distance as, like, the town gets obliterated. It's like, oh, shouldn't have been fucking racist. Fuck you, Lubor! <laughs> yeah, that's what we get. <laughs> Signboard, a meteorite, an accessory. Um, compare and contrast with completing Quentin's quest, which is actually a requirement to do Byron's quest. Yeah, like, we, we got to that one, and it was just like, what in the fuck is happening with this? Like, who wrote this quest? Like, I'm trying to think of just, like, you know, what, what are some, like, video games where that could have been, like, a very sloppily written, like, thing? You know, other than this one. You 
it's usually me making the So, you know, just like God, what happened there? Who like genuinely I wanna know who wrote that one? What are other games where it just feels like they were like, oh, racism is over thanks to a speech. Now, I don't want to just, like, shit on them because they're an easy target, but that kind of feels like something that would happen in a Blizzard game. <laughs> okay. I will eagerly await the rest of that. I don't think Blizzard would even try to, like, solve racism. David Cage games spring to mind. I expect you're wondering what you spoke of making amends with Dion. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. This was some years ago. I mean, I think with David Cage games, it's just inherently he doesn't understand, like, the point that he's trying to make, ostensibly. As opposed to, like, someone had to write a side quest. Because David Cage games don't have side quests. together was cut short. Had not expected to have you spoken with him. No, I, His Highness, always seems so preoccupied. Not when I know he dwells upon the eve. The guild weighs up, but as you say, when I first met him, it, and I did nothing to ease that. It is one of and what he to blame for. I see. I'm ready to help you in it. Then I a pop that. Well, 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 blah 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 blah. Um, Why are we doing this one? Uh, because this gets a scene with Dion. Huh. Um, so, Harpocrates was Dion's tutor before he joined, like, the Dragoons and, you know, started doing cool Dragoony shit. Um, and, like, he feels guilty that, like, he never helped Dion, like, bear kind of the weight of the expectations of being a prince. Which are now really weighing on Dion, what with the whole accidentally nuking his hometown sort of thing, uh, obliterating his own people being a pawn of Ultima, so he's just like, yeah, go get this thing, because it's a symbol of, like, you know, the Empire and friendship, and, you know, it might help Dion out. Because Dion is a cool dude. And he's dealing with some shit. Right, can I... Let's go right off the edge, Clive! Let the wind... Clive, this might be a poor time, but I'm afraid of heights. And I'm looking down constantly. Wait, you just see wood then? I can see through the wood. What? I have x-ray vision. Huh? You fucking Kryptonian chocobo? Yes, actually. You think Ultima is the only alien around? Seems this place is no Just wait till you meet that one guy, Greg, or something. Flowers blooming next to a waterfall. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Hey, go fuck that dragon up. No holding back. Meow, 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 meow. You doing okay? Meow, meow, meow. I'm Macchiato. Is 116. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye on the clock for like when we can give you uh, more cold and heat. Yeah. He takes care of me like Babby. No, you're just my sick wife. You need some Who's the best space hero in video games? Master Chief, yeah. Samus Aran, Commander Shepard, or Dion? Because he went to space, yeah. remember? But he was—he was—he uh, was doing evil at the time because he was crazy. Yeah. So he wasn't a space hero. In fact, that would imply that uh, Clive and Josh doing the fusion dance was a space hero instead. Uh, I'm gonna say Samus out of all of those. Master Chief, you're supposed to put yourself into. Commander Shepard uh, does not have a character. I mean, I think most people want to put themselves into Cortana. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Who's a better space villain, Dion or Eggman? <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's a sick wife, bro! Yes. Woodman. I found the flowers you were looking for. You did? 
I think I did. Nope, the other wyvern tail. What, what about Mario? He spent like two games in space. I did indeed. My dear boy. True, but Samus has spent all of her games in space. One, did you not? That's no, that's uh, not true. Oh. She goes to planets. Yeah. And where are planets? Then by that logic, <laughs> everyone's a space hero, dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know people are naked under their clothes? <gasps> I'm gonna have to up the age range of this stream. Is this okay with Twitch TOS? Did you know you have a skeleton inside you? Did you know it's replaced uh, over the course of a year? Would you do me the honor? Did you know your movie? brain's right above your eyes? Yeah. It's time then. No, only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates. No. I dare not show my face before him. Not after everything I have done. Do we I changed all the periods to commas in his books. Countless innocent lives. And ruined countless more. If the aliens ever invaded Valsia, they could I'm just sent. send Dion off. I mean, that's the plot. <laughs> Ultima happens. I've sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again, and see in his eyes what I have become, I fear that my resolve might falter. Then that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him. The best space hero is, is Fin Fin. The voice activated. Flying space dolphin. You are right. I must, at the very least, offer him my gratitude. Very well then. Take me to him. Follow me. Best space hero is Jita. When does she go to space? Even now, what about Commander Keen? I hesitate to approach him. Man, what must he think of me? I've been waiting since 1992 for him to have that climactic nice. battle with Mortimer Meyer, and he still hasn't done it. But that's that's for later. Bethesda should really just give their rights to that back to Tom Hall if they're not going to fucking do anything with him. Yeah. Master Harpocrates, pray. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons. You subscribe to the idea that Jill the Jungle went to space? Unlike the one I to had the mushroom planet? The yes, absolutely. Is she a space hero? She became a phoenix. Did she go to space? Should be forever grateful. Did she actually she travel through the void, or was it like a stargate kind of thing? Uh, well, she went up, and then there were stars, and then she came down, and she was in mushrooms. Oh yeah, yeah she's a space hero. What about Jazz Jackrabbit? Definitely a space hero. That Bahamut man thought he was a goner. Yes. No, yeah, he's alive. He's alive and kicking. There is something I would like to. Who's he kicking? Ultima, hopefully. Uh. Yeah, he showed up, and he's just like, yeah, hey, uh, I fucked up, but Ultima's behind it, and I want to fuck Ultima up, so I'm on the team now. I can't have Final Fantasy without a Dragoon joining. Team Ulti Kicks. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environments in which they grow lends them this... You think they'll ever... Make an East game where he goes to space. Oh, they have to. Or those of their hothouse cousins. But once they bloom, the difference is... See, the only place he canonically, canonically can, like, go to is the North Pole. Your Highness. Its roots 
where the roots maybe his ready. final adventure is going into space so he can see what's at the North Pole do not define it from the atmosphere and he's just <laughs> like it's just fucking snow you I want you to have it that it might remind you of this truth Master Harpocrates, I would ask of you a service. Seen after his fight, make it made it seem like he's like, guys, he was in the infirmary. Pay attention yeah. to the streams. We brought him back. How shall I be deserving of it? And then he like took off, and there was a bunch of scenes of him like somehow stumbling his way halfway across the world. Yeah. <laughs> Then he saves uh, Uncle Byron. It's awesome. Your return. I'm hungry. Oh. I've been hungry a lot lately. Yeah. Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. She didn't like anyone. <laughs> Reuniting me with memories I have thought long lost. I shall not forget this. What if King Graham went into space? Ooh. I can only you, comprehend the bullshit he would run into up there. For you. And you wouldn't be able to fall I off things, though, because there's no gravity. Right moment to speak with him. I guess the Not closest is the just playing chaos. Space Quest. Yeah. <laughs> I shall plant their seeds. That I might King Grain be like, hmm. I, I need to uncover this I thing buried underground on this planet. King. So let me go under a co long, convoluted series of uh, tool usages to destabilize an asteroid so it flies through space, impacts on the planet, and then explodes a crater, thus letting me get to the underground thing. When it comes to expressing what Eve says, goodbye, King Graham. Yeah, yeah, just hit the launch button. <laughs> Do it, bitch. <laughs> Precisely my Stola's quill. You took Stola's quill? <gasps> Bastard! Steeped in the wishes it hears Cat the girl's just gonna rise up from behind the table. That's mine. Out onto the page. So consider this my wish for Death you. by Cat Girl. A cruel fate. But, one day, but you brought it on yourself. You may put down your sword and pick up. I'll certainly have a lot to write about. Thank you, Harpocrates. Commit that bit to memory. It shall have pride of place in my chamber. But it'd be awfully silly if he did not, in fact, write a book. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have learned to write by then. Okay. Is. You know who else went to space? Putt Putt. He goes to the moon. Okay, so Putt Putt is clearly the greatest space hero then. Because the guy at the fireworks factory sent his dog to the moon by accident, and Putt Putt had to follow and find him. Scrooge McDuck went to space. Yeah, but he's a capitalist, so. What do I owe the honor? What do you want? So here's what I'm thinking, right? Um, I go wipe out the remaining two hunts, and then uh, maybe we take a break and then we finish the game. Okay. Right, so, the pajama Sam weather game gave me nightmares because I got so lost. Huh? I n I never beat the first pajama Sam. I also didn't beat Freddy Fish three. 
Tim Curry went to space. <laughs> that he did. But I don't know if he qualifies as a space hero. Space! Let's go. Faster! God, I'm so excited to see whatever CBU3 cooks up next. I'm hoping it's something just a little bit, you know, uh, less grim and dour. But, uh, fuck me, I'll eat it up regardless, because they make such good shit. I wonder if they will still be CBU3, because they said that, like, they're reorganizing Square Enix's internal stuff. I can walk from here. Alright, bring on the bitch. It just shows up. <laughs> Surprise, bitch! But, like, um, they can't just stop having it's a creative business unit 3 on FF14 trailers. Yeah. Unless they give them, you know, a real name. Finally. Maybe or something, probably. Help. Help. No, I didn't finish Freddy Fish 3. I couldn't find the last goddamn shell. Off. Reorganizing Square Enix again, I guess. Sorry, the, the guy who said that is finding a bird. Yeah. Man, I got stuck at the beginning of Spy Fox for so long because I skipped the intro and that's the only place to explain to you that you're supposed to use the fortune cookie to find out the phone number you have to call. I'll rebrand CB3 as Yoshida's money printer. <laughs> Probably. I have to close the studio like once a year. Well, a lot of times what happens with Square Enix is they close the studio and then just like integrate those people into a pre existing thing because they were probably already doing all that work anyways. Maybe they'll close CBU3 because they don't know how to just rename something, so they have to like make a new one and just put all the same people in it. Next, they'll make the Torgal Chronicles. Ow. They need to fucking re-release the Gaia Trilogy. Yes. That's what they gotta do. God, they really, really have to. Ow. Was the Dragon Quest Studio because they seem to be doing fuck all. Yeah, they're working on Dragon Quest 12, but uh, that's about as far as we know. Just like they're working on that HD 3D remake of, of fucking Dragon Quest 3, I yeah. suppose. <laughs> you 
to specifically make it so that Torgal can still bark. Even time stop cannot uh, silence the Torgal. Uh, which, which Boo is the one doing the new mana game, Majin Boo? Left back around this area. No wait. No, not in Rosaria. I I am the dumb. Good girl. Fly Ambrosia. Alright, let's go. Oh ice god, is, is Voza spreading? What is what? Okay. I'm gonna have to kick Bob's ass for that if it does. That just makes me think it's like an Akashic stage musician, like they show up at birthday parties. It's going to make balloon animals at me! It's a big guy! Big dude with staff, never seen that one before. Alright, this is our last bounty in the game. What's the point of having, like, teeth go, like, up to the sides of your face? I don't know. Anybody versed in, like, evolution got something to say about that? That feels like something Wooly would know. says I presume they're vestigial tusks but I've been wondering if there could be a use to recently I guess all the pandemonium ladies find it an attractive trait that keeps, you know, being in the gene pool. Disadvantage good. It looks fucking stupid. What's got a disadvantage? The the stupid tusks. Ah. The barrel. 
It just has the vibe of something that gets like incorporated into a dog breed that actually makes, gives them horrible problems. Oh yeah. Freeze him to death. <laughs> what? Well, what the hell is happening? What do you mean? Well, like the the effects. Yeah, he was dying. Uh, Ew. You're really Clive, dead. why did you loot that? I'm I'm gonna blame that on Torgal. Torgal has a good nose. He wouldn't do that. I saw like an item behind this door. <gasps> Box. Regal arm guards. Looks like the benefit of short tusks is that they're, bas they're basically that they're teeth that regrow if you chip them. Oh shit, those are better. Well, it looks them. like he's got to chip them, but also they're uh, like completely outside his mouth. So what would you even use them for? Yeah. I'm just gonna blame Ambrosia for the loincloth thing, honestly. Clive, I don't have a nose, but I bet this smells great! I got it just for you! I don't have a nose, Clive! I'm Krillin! <laughs> it's why I'm the strongest character! Quack! Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Alright, um... It is Nai who now possesses... Power! Better price than that. Finished, are ya? Shall we take a break? Yeah, I suppose so. All right. Uh, yeah, nothing left to do but uh, finish the game. So we will be back in five minutes. Yeah, uh, ish. Yeah, five-ish minutes. We will see you in the soon time. Wow, wow. I'll be back. Okay. So will you. Oh, shit.